Good morning, everybody. Okay, so two things we want to talk about today. The first thing is just the idea of prioritizing, generally speaking, right? Once you start falling behind on assignments, you have to kind of prioritize in two ways. So the first way is to think, all right, what is the most important thing that I need to do? And when we talk about importance, we talk about what is worth the most for my grade Mommy, to yes, go up, Mom. okay? So the, the biggest, we have two assignments that for my class, you should be focusing on to do if you haven't already. Um, the first one, which I would suggest you getting done, because in all honesty, it was meant to help your grade in the first place, is the movie or show review, okay? And the reason I gave you that is because I know you're all watching stuff, whether it's a TV series, a Netflix series, a Hulu series, um, a movie, whatever it is. And you don't have to wait until you're done with the whole season to write the review. It just has to be on one episode. Okay, so this is meant to be an easy assignment that I made a test grade, which is worth more than your classwork grades. And a lot of you didn't do it. So you got zeros. <clears throat> so you want to look and see. So for the movie or the show review, you just have to explain the plot without giving away anything too important. And then tell me the, the good and the bad, if any and who you think it would be suitable for. So is it good for teenagers? Is it good for anybody? Is it more geared towards kids, but you found it to be interesting and funny, whatever the case may be. Um, it should be in paragraph form. I gave you a template. It's on the assignments page. Um, so follow it, but it doesn't need to be like a full five or six paragraphs. I just set it as a paragraph to let you know that it's a new idea, but you don't need to, to fulfill it that much. Just get those basic ideas down. Your title needs to be in quotation marks because it's a show or a movie. And then you go into your analysis of it. So what was good, what was bad, what actors were good, where, what actors weren't good. Um, just really your honest opinion about it. That's a test grade. So please submit that as soon as possible. Now, the second thing that is worth probably the most for this marking period is the um, women's history essay. That's a project grade, okay? So you needed to choose two women. One woman should be born before 1990. The other woman should be born after 1990. And you're just explaining you know, the good that they did, the impacts they had on the world, on the society, on their country, on their community, um, any achievements that they had. Now, the biggest problem here with you guys is you're not giving me the sources. Obviously, you don't know these women personally, their life story, their accolades. You need to tell me where you're getting this information. So that's why some of you submitted it and you did a great job, but you got a 70 because you didn't include your sources. So it's plagiarism, okay? You need to make sure you follow my notes on how to do the in-text citations. And I get it, most of your stuff is gonna be from a source. So for since I'm not in the classroom with you picking it out, you could at the end of your paragraph in the parentheses, give me the author's name, give me the title of the article. So that way you're giving credit to where you got the information from. So technically you might only have two sources and that's fine. One for the first woman, one for the second woman. Okay. Those are the two assignments you need to catch up on. Now, obviously you have smaller assignments within that we're doing with House on Mango Street. So Get these two things done if you're missing them, right? Then send me an email and say, I submitted it or whatever the case may be, and then work on the other assignments, okay? This is a short week, so we only have today and tomorrow. So I'm not gonna give you any new assignment due by tomorrow, right? But you need to go back and make sure you're doing the assignments that need to be done. Even if it says it's closed, you can still get into the assignment. It just comes in as late, okay? I'm not taking points off for it being late, but you need to make sure you get in, you prioritize what you're doing, okay? I know it's overwhelming, but you need to give an effort, okay? 
if something is going on in your personal life, if a family member, something's up, you're not at your computers enough, please email me, let me know. You can email Ms. Vega, you can email Mr. Ziobro, you can email whatever teacher you're struggling with, but make sure we know, because unless you tell us, we don't know what's going on, okay? Um, as always, email, send me a message on Unified or on Go Guardian. Okay, have a great day, guys.